What does a small woodworking studio in Augusta have to do with our community's former civic center? And how does an art installation bridge over 80 years of O'Fallon history? In this story, we're going to dive into the history of Civic Hall and how its spirit is alive in the city's new Crackle Civic Center. Things were pretty different a half century ago. Cars were different, neighborhoods were different, even Main Street was different. But one thing was just as true then as it is now. Our community needed a place to come together and hold celebrations and social events. And that place was Civic Hall. Built in the 1930s as an open-air pavilion by the O'Fallon Civic Club, this facility quickly became the place to meet for gatherings of all kinds. And by the 1950s, the Civic Club enclosed the building with permanent walls and added a beautiful maple flooring. Sometime later, the club sold the facility to O'Fallon's local government, and it continued to be the gathering place of our city and the home of dozens of parks and recreation events. After decades of faithfully serving our community, Civic Hall shut its doors for the final time in November of 2011, when an inspection revealed numerous concerns over its structural stability. After carefully considering our options, it was decided that the safest course of action was to demolish Civic Hall in 2013 and prepare for a new Civic Center. Today, we're proud to present Crackle Civic Center, which once again offers a gathering place for our entire community. When we were forced to close Civic Hall several years ago, more than several, I promised our residents that we would find a way to bring a new facility to this beautiful park that would once again allow Civic Park to host these beloved events. Today I'm proud to welcome all of you to the new Crackle Civic Center. Named for our city's founding father, this building will again be home to family gatherings for generations to come. So that's the end of Civic Hall's story, right? Well, not quite. Before its demolition, the original maple flooring was carefully removed, and we were determined to use it in the new Crackle Civic Center. To learn more, we'll need to come here to artist Michael Bauermeister's Augusta workshop. Well, my art is more about beauty than anything else. Um, it is expressive, it's creative, it's about the beauty that I see in nature. And what I've chosen to do is try to interpret that in um, carved painted wood. I was asked to make something using this salvaged um, material, which was old flooring from the old building that was there. And, um, but I wanted to make something using that very linear, hard material that would have a softer feel to it and that would kind of soften up the interior space where it was going. And so, to my mind, the best thing to do that is to emulate something in nature that I've seen. So I was going for um, kind of tall, grassy, waving in the wind, um, just like if you're laying in the grass on a summer day with the blue sky and a few clouds in the sky. That's, that's the feeling I was going for. Michael specializes in abstract woodwork. And his pieces can be found featured in magazines and in galleries around the country. To ensure everything was ready by the Kreckle Civic Center's grand opening, Michael worked tirelessly for two and a half weeks to turn three four-foot by four-foot panels into a beautiful triptych, which he named Beneath Our Feet. It made sense to me because the, the old flooring had been walked on by who knows how many generations of, of people in O'Fallon, and the grass we walk on every day when we go for a walk in the grass. So, so that, that was where the title Beneath Our Feet came from. And, that was kind of my concept for the piece, to make it colorful and light. Finally, it was time to unveil our new facility and the one-of-a-kind art installation that preserves the spirit of Civic Hall. When um, the word came that the old building had to come down, staff went in and they removed the old wooden floor in a lot of big sections. So when you enter the building tonight, you will see a piece of artwork that is actually done on that old wooden floor. And like I said, it's a part of the old hall that we've now made a permanent part of this facility. It was something that we felt we should do. And I think when you see the way we used it, it turned out really nice. Three, two, one. 
After the ribbon cutting, guests poured into the new building, and it was immediately apparent they couldn't take their eyes off the triptych dominating the entrance lobby. Oh, I was loving that. Um, frequently, I make pieces and put them in a crate and send them off, and I never see them again, and I never get to see people's reaction to them. So it was really nice to, to see people see the piece for the first time. And, and they wanted to touch it, which I told them was okay. <laughs> and, and, uh, and it was just great to see people react to it. And I felt like, you know, they, they got it. O'Fallon has come a long way since the early days of Civic Hall. We're proud to offer the new Creckle Civic Center as a gathering place for our community's events. And you can learn more about this facility online at its dedicated webpage. But we're equally proud to have a piece of O'Fallon history forever memorialized in beneath our feet. Interested in learning more about the artist? You can find a bio and information on how Michael crafts his unique pieces on his website. And when you join us at Creckle Civic Center for an event, make sure you take a moment to explore the beautiful art on display. The message is just about enjoying nature. It's just about remembering that beautiful day when you laid down in the grass and, and looked up at the sky and, and how you felt on that day. And uh, I think that fits in a public space like this that's all about the parks and it's all about the natural side of, of O'Fallon.